Welcome to the case study section and in my opinion is one of the most fun parts because we're going to be working with our process. So now that you learn what are the minimum requirements to set up the simulation, the physical property environment, you learned about the unit operations, how to set up and connect the streams, now it's time to analyze our process. So uh, once again, I would recommend you to go back to the problem statement, read it again. And in this specific case, we're going to be learning about the effects that we might encounter. So typical changes or case studies that we will be interested in will be what happens if we change the temperature of the heater or chiller. What happens if we change the total number of the distillation column? What happens if we change the reflux ratio? Or if we change the distillate to gas ratio? What happens with the reactor if we set it up with I don't know, more oxygen or more air. Does it increase or decreases in temperature? What will happen if we change the pressurization? What will happen? All these what if scenarios are going to be treated here, four main cases. And the idea is to generate this concept of you understanding the power of Aspen Heises. And not only that, I want you to show these to maybe someone else or friend or I don't know, colleague and try to connect ideas before going through the simulation. What will happen if you change the temperature? What will happen with the final process specification of the liquid product? Or what will happen with the total amount of fluid going through the bottoms? All this is the main idea to generate these doubts and start getting familiar on the ethics that might be connected. So once again, guys, welcome to this case studies section, and I'll see you in the next lecture.